We are now recording. Let me make myself the center. All right. There we go. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna come down on my mat. Please lie side on to your device. You need nothing for warm up. Um, if you have a tracker, get it ready to roll. We're about to begin, 829. So the workout will be slightly different to what we did on Tuesday. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna introduce a new move, which is actually really good, I think. All right, so um, almost ready for 830. Let's set up. All right, so come on down on your backs, please. You know, we always warm up slowly. Bring your hands to the side of your thighs. Bring your feet in closer to your bum. Release those heels off the ground. Now bring your belly button deep into your spine. We just turned on our abs and have braced our back. So we're gonna begin with an alternating leg lift, front leg first. So front and back, tap and tap. So make sure you're supping your knees directly above your hip line. Make connection with your back, low back to the ground. And there's a light kiss of the top of your toes on the ground. Nice job. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Bring your hands to temple. We're going to park the legs and we're gonna go into a crunch, up two and two. Here it is, up, up, down and down. Lift, lift, down, down. So chin tucks in, ribs to hips, your elbows wide. Keep moving, please. So obviously the effort now transferred to the up abs. Up, up, down, down. Nice job. Two more. All right, everybody. We're moving on to a cross curl. Twist and lift. Center front, center back. Lift and twist. Up and down. Now maybe lift the legs and light tap of the toes. Lift and twist. There it is. You've got eight, seven, your chin is stuffed in, your elbows wide, elbow to opposite knee. You've got four, three, two, and one. All right, park everything back down, hands down, return to the beginning. So alternating toe tap. Try to extend the lever by bringing your feet a little bit further away. And this time, try to not touch the ground and feel how much difference it is. You need to brace harder. Nice job. Eight, seven, six, five, you're doing great. Four, three, two hands to temple, park the legs, crunch up, two, two, go up, up, down, and down. Nice lift and lower. All right, you're warmer. Can you maybe try to get a little bit closer to the knees? Nice, so up, up, down, down, nice. Four more, go up and down, lift and lower, yep. One more, get ready for a cross curl to the front. Here it is, so front and back, front and back. Now whether you tap your toes or not, you're tucking chin in, Lifting and twisting, you've got it. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Can you turn hot longer and wider? Nice, you've got four, three, two. Park the legs, hands down, bring your feet closer to your hips and then squeeze your glutes, roll your shoulders down and back into your spine. Hold at the very top warming up your posterior chain. Now slow pulses, quarter down, all the way up, quarter down, all the way up. Transfer your focus to your heels and keep that squeeze without release. You've got four, three, two more please. Nice job. All right, everything comes down, hands to temples, C-crunch triple pulse. Go three, two, one, tap. Go three, Nice job. And down, six more lift. Think about it as high, higher, highest, and down. Remember, chin in. Yep, and down for more, three. Are your knees stopping directly over your hips? Lift. You've got two more, keep going. Last one here. 
And just like that, we are done with your warm up. Bring your hands behind your legs and roll all the way up. And here we go. All right, so begin our first round of work. Come on down on your belly. Bring your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Bring your fists together. Now lift your booty up. Line everything. Both your hips and your shoulders are in line. Now you remember, you can, you're welcome to stay or come back here anytime. But we're ready for a little bit of extra effort. So lift your knees off the ground, bring your heels back. Now press your chest down and concentrate on keeping all the pressure on your forearms, please. Nice job. So we're gonna stay here for 15 seconds. If you're starting to feel pressure in your low back, then by all means, drop your knees up to the ground. Otherwise, stay where you are. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven. Stay with me. We're about to begin movement. Whether you're on your knees or on your toes, you're gonna tap out front leg. Go out, out, in, and in. So out, out, in and in. If you're on your knees, you're extending out and back in. So find what works for you and stay with it. But what you're not doing is dropping your butt down or lifting it above your hip line, above your shoulder line. Nice job. Go out, out, in, in. So everything is connected. You should be feeling pressure in your shoulders. Your back is assisting to keep you long and strong. And of course, your abs are working. All right, so now listen. If you're on your knees, you keep going where you are. If you're on your toes, we're going to jack it out. So out, in, out, in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, come back to center, drop your knees, everybody roll over. You're gonna need your heavier plate or just one of your lighter ones. All right, so come on down. Now lift your knees off the ground, 90 degree angle. Lift your chest up, bring your plate over your forehead and you're going to alternate leg extension as we reach with the plate back. So back and in, switch back and in. So stabilizing muscles working hard, upper and lower abs working. And what you wanna make sure you're doing is your chin tucks in as you crunch in and out. All right, you're welcome to stay here, but if you want more, extend two legs out and in, out and in. Six, five, watch your low back. Four, three, two more please. Nice job. All right, everybody, come back to the center. Extend your plate up, lift your chest up. Tuck, chin in, scissor split. Down, 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 down. Now, if it's too much, drop the chest down to the ground. If this feels even too much, drop the weight off. And if you have no weight and it's still too much, maybe toe tap and it still works. Lift, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Bend your knees, drop the plate, and roll over. We go back to your final sequence with your hover. So find your spot. So remember, knees or toes. Everybody's elbows directly under shoulders. Set up wherever it is that makes you challenge yourself, but work safely. Nice job. 15 seconds right here. Brace everything, check in with your butt. I have just reminded myself to drop my chest. I, I tend to curve it up. Nice job. Four. In three, we're going to start walking out slowly. Ready? Front leg, here it is. So out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. If you're on your knees, out, in, out, in. Nice job. Keep moving, please. Yep. And in. Eight more. Stay with. Chest down. Gaze towards fist. Belly super braced. Nice job. You've got four. Three. You should feel a lot of pressure and warmth. Two. 
All right, everybody, if you're on your knees, you keep moving. We start jacking, here it is. So out, in, out, in. So try not to lift your butt. Keep everything long and strong. You've got four, three, two, and one. Oh my, on your knees. Roll over, final sequence with your plate on your back. All right, so you know exactly what we're doing. Lift your knees up, lift your chest, plate over forehead, alternating leg extension. Out, in, out, in. So remember the options as we progress. You can get rid of the plate, or if you're ready for more, double leg extension, eight. Seven, it's easy to forget that crunch right here. Lift, chin in. Four, three, you're close. Two, and one. Hold it here. Extend everything up. I'll just alternating scissor split. Down, down. Remember options? Chest down. Maybe no plate. Maybe toe tap. Make it work. You've got this. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, almost done. Two and one. Bring everything in, roll over, and let's come on up. All right, so make sure you have clean space to the sides. So for this next part, you will need just two weights. Okay, so this next track is going to elevate your heart rate and it's gonna challenge your, your balance. We're gonna continue working your entire core and there's gonna be particular focus on your posterior chain. So low back, hamstrings, and glutes. Weight on each hand. Take one foot back, doesn't matter which. Roll your shoulders up, down, and back. Sink in the front knee, press that knee out. Nose over toes, long, proud spine. Hands forward. So watch me, this is called an orbit. I go sideways and back, sideways, and back, so my arms are long forward. It's like they're planets and you're the sun. Nice, so single leg training. You should feel your shoulders. You should feel your waistline. Your back is working. Sink and lift. All right, if you're ready for more, now start lifting the back leg. Down and up, down and up. So this should not be easy, down and forward. Rotation with full control with your hips forward. Down and back. Four, three, stay with me. All right, now you can keep going there or just hover the leg. I never tap, tap down. Oh my, there's the balance. It's this small powerful move. It's working your entire body, pressing through the heel. Franny goes out, you've got four, three, can you feel that? Two and one, step in, shake. We go on the other side, take a long step back, set yourself for success. So lift your chest, Franny out, roll your shoulders, tip forward from hips, here we go. Sideways and back. So right now, my back leg is grounded. There's rotation and I'm controlling. Nice. Four, three, arms long and strong in front. Start lifting back leg, forward and down. Squeeze, loosening balance, out. Negotiate, yep. Cool. You can feel the difference, especially if you're not in your stronger leg. Four, now remember, you can always stay here or hover in up. You're still going down and up, out, in. The rotation slows down a little bit. I can actually find hard work on not tapping. Four, three, two, and one. All right, step in. Nice job, everybody. All right, now listen, get rid of these or hold two with one hand. I'm gonna choose my heavier one and I'm gonna go back to my original leg. So taking a long step back, 
chest is lifted. This is a little bit different. Actually, bring your feet in closer. All right, so everything is long and strong. We're going into a deadlift by simply extending the leg back, but I'm hinging forward. Side view, down and in, down and in. So my back leg is long and strong. I'm hinging from the hips, my nose over toes. You've got four. I'm pressing deep through the heel. Now listen up. I'm gonna lift the back leg and not tap. Down and in, down and in. You've got this. Yep, halfway. You've got four, three. Now listen, you can stay there or add a knee lift for ab work. Down and lift, hinging long and strong. So you have two sides working. Abs are on, back is on. Glutes are tight and strong. Nice, four more. Now remember, you can be right here or lift knee. Two and one, lift and hold. Shake it, nice job everybody. All right, so we do the same thing on the other side. Long step back, lift your chest, brace, and down we go, sorry. Down and in, down and in, nice job. So remember, I am not curving my back. I have a point in front of me. Everything is aligned, down and up. Four, three, the work should be felt on the leg that's supporting you. Now lift your back leg, no tapping. Balance in, out and in. Ooh, you can feel the difference. Four, three, remember. You can stay there or elevate me up. So out and in, maybe tapping, maybe not tapping in between. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Great job, everybody. All right, shake it. We're going now into your band work. All right, moving right along. So listen, grab your band. If you have one of these and you'd rather go for that, go for that, either one works. Either way, either step on the band or if you have the handle ones, remember you can always stay right here or cross your handles. All right, now everybody come, brings your shoulders up, down and back. My feet are slightly outside of my hip width and I'm gonna go wider and in. Start, out, out, in, in. So now, the movement is pretty slow. And you should feel it pretty deeply on the outside of your glutes, your medial glute, out, out, in, in. Now look how my legs are now getting closer to my hip line. Out, out. Now if you want more, sink deeper into a sumo squat. Yep. Four, three, stay with me, chest lifted, two, and one. All right, step in, hold. Either foot goes back, transfer the weight on the leg in the front, bring that knee out, leg extension to 45 degrees. So up, down, up, down. Now listen, you can tap in between or you can hover the leg. You're keeping everything long and strong. Try to keep your shoulders directly over your hips without a side bend. Nice job. You've got eight, seven, six, Five, stay with me. Four, three, two, one. Step in, transfer weight. Opposite leg goes back, lift your chest and off we go. So up, down, up, down, nice. So the band is trying to put me sideways. So I keep everything long, upper body quiet. Nice job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're almost there. Two. One, step in, bring your feet wider than your hips, reset your posture, out, out, in, in. All right, so right off the bat, sink deep, keep your chest up, make it wide as it goes. You've got this. You've got four, three, stay with it. Two, almost done, and one. Now step in, reset your posture, now transfer the weight. To either leg again. This time we're going sideways leg extension. So out, in, out, 
in. Ooh. So both legs are working hard. One is stabilizing me by pressing deep through the heels and the opposite one is pressing the heel out, out, in, out, in. You've got four, three, stay with, oh my, two, and one. Switch it, reset your body, transfer weight, lift your body, out, in, out, in. This one is particularly hard because my body wants to turn towards the side of support. Nice job, you've got eight, seven, six, five, stay with it, four, three, so good, two, one, hold it, reset the body, out, out, in, in, final round, out, out, in, in, make it big, make it count, stand up tall, you're halfway in, you've got four, Three, make it super wide. Two, one. Now listen, step out. Hold it right here. Sink deep. Keep the chest up. Sit way back. Feel the pressure now in your quads and your glutes. You should be shaking. Knees are out. And slowly release. We are out of there. Nice job. All right, so no more band work, but you will need one plate. So we're going down on the ground. And what we're doing now is working our obliques. So now listen, your plate to the side, nothing to begin with. Come on down on your backs. All right, so listen, we're going to do a long set of rope climbing. Level one, knees on the ground, I mean, toes on the ground, level two, 90 degrees, level three, knees up. So choose your level, maybe try either one. Now bring your hands up, it's a rope climb. Lift and twist. Remember, three levels and maybe extend and try to challenge your body to try to reach your shoelaces. Stay with it. Up, down, up, down. Nice job. Stay. We're just halfway in. Lift and twist. Chin tucks in. Stay with it. Nice job. You've got eight, seven, six, Five, four, almost done. Three for this round, two and one. All right, bend your knees, roll up. Here we go. We're gonna really fry your obliques right now. So listen up, maybe no plate, either way. Hips are squared forward, so my hips are in line of each other, knee and heel in line, shoulder and elbow. If you're grabbing the plate, grab it with you. Either way, lift up your, chest, your um, hips, extend your plate up, left the leg up, bring your um, biceps to your ears, and we pull in and out, in and out. Nice job, in, out. All right, try to make yourself super long. Check in with shoulder and elbow. Try to bring your knee closer to the elbow as you crunch in and out. You've got eight, seven. So you should feel, the glutes on the underside and your underside obliques. Four, three, oh my, two, and one. Hold it. All right, now listen, we're gonna set up hover for rotation. So on your knees or on your toes, bring your weighted plate underneath, rotate forward two and two. So up, up, down, down. Nice job, up, up, down, you've got this. Lift and lower, maybe on the knees, extending leg on the top, resetting at the bottom. You've got four, three, make it slow, controlled. Last one, please. Now everybody stay at the top, lift your hips a little bit higher, feel the pressure, come on down. Let's do the other side. All right, so roll over. So we begin with the oblique crunches. Remember, plate or no plate, but hips forward, knee heels, knee and elbow, lift your booty up, lift that plate up, find that extension, and off we go. So in, out, in, out. This move is truly dynamite. So shoulders, glutes, and waistline working. Nice job. You've got eight, seven, six, yes you can, 
five, stay with it. Can you try to lift your hips a little higher? Three, two, one, hold. Lift your plate up and your leg a little higher and slowly release. All right, so let's set up for side hover, other side. So elbows on your shoulders, knees or toes, pick your poison, two and two, eight rounds. So up, up, down, down, up, up, down. You've got this. So remember, everything comes with you. Your eyes follow the hand as it goes up and down. Shoulder over, I mean, under elbow. Up, over, I mean, and down. Four more. Four, stay. Three, how good is this? Two, last one. All right, stay at the top. Lift your hips, lift that plate over your shoulder, hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and down we go. Nice job, everybody. All right, final working track on your belly. We're gonna be working your back. I'm gonna be facing you. You just make sure that your hips are in a cushy area. All right, so first and foremost, my glutes are squeezed, my heels are together, my hands are at my temples, my chest is slightly lifted. We're going to salute by lifting, extending both arms, bringing them in, halfway down. So the way up, out, and halfway. Chin always tucked in. I'm looking at the floor. I'm extending out wide. And if this is too much, maybe arms on the ground. Up, hold, down, down, lift. Choose your level, up. So upper back, shoulders working. Two more, up, out, in, last one. All right, everybody, bring your palms on top of each other. Bring your forehead over your hands, squeeze the glutes. Now we're going to lift both legs up and extend out just like we did with the, with the arms. So up, out, in, down. Massive squeeze to allow the thighs to release off the ground. Up, out, in, down. Now if this is too much, Maybe try alternating one leg at a time. You've got four, three, lower back, mid back and glutes. Ooh, one more. All right, everybody, reset. Bring your hands to your temples. We're going into a star pose. So now arms and leg work together. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Lift, open, in, down, up, out, in, down. If it's too much, choose upper or lower body, but keep moving, please. Four more. Go up, out, in, down. Massive. Effective. Efficient. Two more. Last one. All right, hold. Thank God. All right. Palms up top of each other. Forehead to your arms. Here they go. Water kicks, you know them now. Squeeze the glutes, keep them tight, and start kicking. Swimming on the ground. Now really aiming to lift those thighs off the ground. This should feel rather intense. You're halfway, eight, seven, six. Can you kick higher? Four, three, two, and one, thank goodness. All right, everybody, we're not done. Final round of work. Push-ups, hands outside of shoulder width. Knees can be under hips or behind you or on your toes, pick your poison. Find your spot, chest down, two and two, down, up. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. You've got this. Remember options, make quality over quantity. Yep. Down, down, up, up. All right, everybody. Singles, please. Go eight, seven, six, five. We're not done. Everybody, lift one leg, whether you're on your knees or on your toes. Two, one, switch it. Four, three, chin tucked in. One, now everybody. Come on down and hold for 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six. I feel it with you. Five, four, three, two, one on your knees. Pull back and take a deep inhale. We made it. That was really hard, I think. Oh my. All right, everybody. When you're ready and if you're ready, let's roll on our backs. Let's do a quick stretch so you can move on with your day. On your back, hands over your head, feet in opposite direction, take a deep inhale, lengthen, and before you exhale, toes to nose, and then release everything on the ground, hands to the sides, bend your knees, drop your knees to the front or the back of the room, doesn't really matter. What does matter is that your shoulders are grounded and your eyes are in opposite direction of your knees. We made it, you made it, great job. All right, bring it back to center. Drop your knees now to the opposite side. Remember, grounding your shoulders, eyes opposite direction. Just hold it there for a second. Whew. Now wherever you are, keep rolling forward. Join me in a child's pose. So we started a little bit different. You sit way back first, and then you bring your forehead to the ground. Then start inchworming your fingertips far from your shoulders. Feel that stretch climbing through your arms, shoulders, back. Hammies, I mean quads and glutes are definitely stretching with you as well. Ah, nice. All right, come back to tabletop, please. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Tuck your toes under, modify downward dog, lift your booty up. Bring your chest towards your knees, let go of the neck. Now do this with me just because it feels so good. So give me a small rotation of your head. That lets go of the neck. Now slowly release your heels down onto the ground. Ooh, feel that, nice. All right, last but not least, walk your hands or feet together. Hold it here for a second. Lift your tailbone, keep your, seat, your knees soft, please. And then slowly release up and take a deep inhale with me. Give yourself a nice exhale out. And now give yourself a huge pat in the back. Great job, everybody. Have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you next week, um, 7 a.m. on Tuesday. That was a hard, hard class, I think. Enjoy your day. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you, Gia. Take care. Thank Likewise. you, Bye-bye. My pleasure. My Bye. pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Miss up recording. All right.